It has been no secret that old buildings are host to ghosts and the supernatural. For years, ghost chasers would seek out these old haunted buildings and try to find hard evidence to prove the existence of ghosts. Two of the most infamous haunted buildings worldwide are the Winchester House, built in 1884, and the Monte Cristo Homestead, built in 1885. Because of this, it comes as no surprise that our own castle, the Nemecolon Castle, located in Brownsville, Pennsylvania, has its own ghosts. This uncanny castle was originally built in the 1850s by Jacob Bowman. Three generations of Bowman lived within these castle walls. Some still live here. This castle has also been rumored to have been built adjacent to Native American burial grounds, which adds to the reason of why this place would be haunted. There are 10 ghosts rumored to be roaming the halls of the Nemecolon Castle. Ghost number one, Jacob Bowman. Jacob Bowman was the original owner of the castle. He married Isabella and together they had nine kids. Jacob started building his house in 1789 and as his family's fortune increased, he added more to the house, which soon resulted in a castle. The construction was finally finished in the 1850s. He was very active in his community. He found the old Monongahela Bank and became president of it from 1814 to 1843. He also was commissioned justice of the peace by Governor Mifflin on February 13, 1797. Sadly, Jacob Bowman died at Brownsville on March 2nd, 1847. People claim to see him in this castle's library. Ghost number two, Mary Bowman. Mary Bowman is a seven-year-old ghost with dark curly hair who mostly resides in the bachelor's turret room. There is almost no information on Mary. Some people believe that she was an orphan who was taken into custody of Jacob Bowman. I personally do not believe that this is true, even though Jacob did have a daughter named Mary. She died at age 63 in Tennessee. I believe this ghost is one of Nelson's four children who never made it into adulthood. Ghost number three, Nelson Bowman. Nelson Bowman was Jacob Bowman's son. Nelson inherited the castle after his father died. He married Elizabeth and together they had six kids with only two surviving to adulthood. Nelson and his wife renovated the nursery in the castle from colonial to a Victorian style. He died on October 28, 1807. Nelson has been seen lurking in the library. Ghost number four, Elizabeth Bowman. Elizabeth Bowman was married to Nelson Bowman. There is not much information on her life. She died on June 16, 1889 in Brownsville, Pennsylvania. People who have seen her ghost claim that she is a very proper lady. She is seen wearing a white dress and has been caught running and screaming down the castle's halls. Ghost number five, the old woman. There is not much information of who this woman was, but there has been a lot of speculation. People believe that she used to be the Bowman's servant since she spends most of her time in the servant's room. It is also rumored that she died of a respiratory disease since people have trouble breathing when she appears. The old woman is seen wearing a dark purple dress and once sent someone to the hospital because she scared them too much, resulting in them having a heart attack. When this is brought up, she responds by saying, people don't die. Ghost number six, the dog. People have spotted and heard a dog run around the hallways and in the nursery. One ghost research group claimed they felt it nudge their wrist while they were sitting in the nursery. People assume this dog was one of Bowman's pets. Ghost number seven, Amos. Amos is rumored to have been a runaway slave. The castle was built on the Underground Railroad, so it is assumed that the Bowmans helped Amos out once he ran away from his owners. Amos is seen walking the castle halls. Number 8 and 9, the Two Little Girls. The two little girls are typically seen playing in the nursery. People say they enjoy playing hide-and-seek and singing. One of the little girls has been reported to setting off one of the castle's motion sensors. Once the police officers got there to see what was going on, they saw a child waving at them through the upstairs window. When the police went inside, they didn't see anyone. Ghost number 10, the woman in the dark dress. There is no information on who this woman is, but she is typically seen in the second floor hallway with her hair pulled back. There are many different ghosts with various stories contained within the Nemecol and Castle walls. This sparks the interest of many, causing a crowd to come in in search of paranormal activity. So the next time you enter this building, make sure to keep an eye and an ear out because you never know what will happen.